Rallying is one of the most exhilarating categories within motorsports, involving racing against the clock on tough surfaces like dirt, gravel, and even snow. Drivers and their navigators contend fiercely over long distances, often in harsh environments that are remote from civilization, without any real practice on the stages. Sure, the sights and sounds of rally cars driving on the limit are exciting and breathtaking, but when things go wrong, they can go horribly wrong. It in this video, we're going to show you some of the craziest crashes and maddest mishaps that have ever happened in rallying. From airborne cars to fiery explosions, these incidents highlight the risks that drivers and co-drivers face when they step into a rally car. So fasten your seatbelt and prepare for an exhilarating roller coaster ride. You're watching Racer's Reverie, and these are 20 rally moments that went horribly wrong. First up is this crazy crash from the Ashley Forest Rally in 2023 that was miraculously caught on camera from these outrageous angles. This Subaru Impreza was being put through its paces by its driver and navigator on this tricky forest stage, flying through the trees and dancing with the banking right on the very limit of grip. Unfortunately, the driver pushed a bit too hard and overstepped the mark. Entering this high-speed right-hander, the Impreza was sideways and went too wide, heading straight for the banking on the forest's edge. It smashed the ditch, and the car spun instantly and flipped onto its roof. It slid up the stage while rolling uncontrollably numerous times before bashing off a badly placed tree. The car narrowly missed spectators in what could have been a catastrophic crash. Luckily, everyone walked away, but the team was left with a hefty repair bill. So uh, Dave Ollis looked in. Oh, he's yeah. the bank. He's over. He's rolling. Oh, no. He's barrel rolling it over. So uh, Dave Ollis has come to grief. This next moment is one of unbelievable drama, yet complete calmness at the same time. During the 1995 Rally Ireland, the entrance took on a stage along the roads of Crossgar County Down. One driver and navigator pairing were searching for glory and taking on the rally in their trusty hatchback. Spectators found a great spot to get close to the action in the gateway of a house, but on this occasion, they got a bit closer than they would have liked. When approaching the gateway, the car took the jump on the road at over 100 miles per hour, and when it landed, the car's steering broke and locked in one position, sending them hard left into a wall at crazy speed. The photographer moved just in time, and the car missed him by the tiniest margin ever witnessed. The car smashed the wall in an almighty blow, but somehow the photographer was completely unharmed. This is without a doubt one of the luckiest moments in rallying history. What transpired in the Rally Ypres 2023 for driver Stéphane Lefebvre was far crazier than he would have liked, so let's take a look. During the high-speed tarmac stage, Lefebvre and his co-pilot were barreling down the road at crazy speed on this narrow stretch of road. But out of nowhere, disaster struck. Amid a quiet afternoon in the Belgian countryside, Lefebvre's car hit a bump and lost control, flipping the car instantly. It sent it into an unbelievable series of rolls and was flung off the road, all while turning over ten times before coming to a rest. Bodywork came flying off the car, with parts narrowly missing spectators. But luckily, both driver and co-driver were uninjured. It was a reminder that no matter how harmless a rally stage looks, danger is always just around the corner. The Rally Monte Carlo is famous for its treacherous nature, often involving ice, tight stages, and requiring the highest concentration levels of both driver and co-driver. And the 2019 installation of the Rally Classic was no different. Halfway through the stage, Welsh driver Alfin Evans had to deal with a hazardous turn when his car lost control on the less-than-ideal cold surface. He flirted with the limits of safety and came precariously close to the edge of the road numerous times, but on one occasion, he overstepped the line and carried too much speed into the bend, and he drove straight off the side. The car smashed headfirst into a tree with a huge hit, and the two men inside got shaken up like nothing but 
the form. Somehow, they escaped unscathed from this almighty impact and lived to fight or drive another day. By the way, if you'd like to see more of the best motorsports content just like this, please consider liking this video and hitting subscribe for more quality content. Okay, back to the video. Now, instead of driving headfirst into a tree, Molly Taylor went headfirst into something a bit different in 2018. Let's check it out. The Australian rally driver was partaking in her home event, Rally Australia, when she had this almighty shunt. Near New South Wales on the second stage of the rally, Taylor was in hot pursuit of the stopwatch in her Subaru Impreza. While coming over a blind crest, the car landed awkwardly and snapped, sending her straight towards an unfortunately placed hay bale. She hit it at crazy speed head-on, instantly wrecking her car and punting the bale deep into the forest due to the sheer force of the impact. It sent the car spinning and twisting, coming to a stop almost instantly. It was one of the highest speed crashes from the entire event, and luckily both Taylor and her co-pilot Malcolm Reed were uninjured. Number 6 on our list is courtesy of the FIA European Rally Championship round in the Czech Republic's Zlín, where this ridiculous rollover occurred in 2015. Robert Kansani was piloting his Citroen DS3R5 along the flat-out section of tarmac when he suddenly clipped the grass on the outside of the road, and before he knew it, he and his co-driver were going on the ride of their life. The Citroen went sideways, hitting the grass on the other side of the road and then took flight. It rolled an outrageous number of times at extremely high speed, shedding body parts with every impact. It flipped end over end in one of the most prolonged and violent rollover sequences in rally history. Now for number 7 on our list, let's check out this extremely lucky crash for Tomas Kaspercik during the Rally Islas Canarias in 2017. Kaspercik created one of the most memorable moments from the whole rally with this incredible crash. His Ford Fiesta R5 was being pushed to the limit on the extremely dangerous mountaintop stage, and unfortunately, he couldn't avoid all of that danger. He took far too much speed into one of the tight right-handers on the top of the mountain and had no hope of making the corner. Instead, his car slid sideways into the metal safety barrier, breaking it off its hinges. Somehow, it didn't snap completely. Instead, it held his car at the very top of the mountain, leaving it dangling off the side while creating one of the most harrowing scenes ever. It was extremely lucky and may have even saved his and his co-driver's lives. Let's head back to Zlín for this next rally moment that went horribly wrong. During the FIA European Rally Championship round of the Barum Czech Rally in 2019, driver Nikolai Gryazin made a bad mistake. After driving his Skoda Fabia RS on the limit throughout the treacherous town, he took far too much speed through this tight corner and ran wide, and waiting for him was a badly placed metal fence. Gryazin smashed it at huge speed, and it spun his car instantly in dramatic fashion. It destroyed the whole rear section of the car leaving the wheel and bodywork lying on the road. Luckily, he was okay, and both he and his co-driver walked away unharmed. Let's step back in time for a moment and have a look at a huge crash that took place in the 1986 Rally Wales event. This driver was pushing his Toyota to the limits on this outrageous mountaintop stage, which had absolutely no safety features to prevent a driver from crashing off the mountain. And unfortunately for him, that is exactly what happened. The car completely ran out of traction and veered off the hillside backwards, tumbling and rolling a crazy distance down the stony soil. It fell so far that it could no longer be seen by the camera. The scene at the bottom of the hill showed a completely wrecked car car, and somehow both the driver and co-driver got out and walked back up the hill. And while we're talking about unbelievable crashes, here's one that you've definitely never seen before. 
In 2005, this ambitious driver was taking on a countryside stage rally with his Peugeot 206 rally car, and it's fair to say that he got it a small bit wrong approaching this high-speed section. He drove far too fast and dipped the car off the road, and it couldn't have happened in a worse place. He smashed a piece of earth that sent him straight up into the air in an unbelievable way, spinning and flipping the car in mid-air. It then landed on its roof in a shocking fashion and the car was completely wrecked when it came to a stop. Is this a contender for the highest a rally car has ever been during a crash? Let us know what you think. We all know that part of the allure of rallying lies in its unpredictability and inherent danger. However, nobody would have expected a crash like this one to be possible. During the Helen Dorn Rally of 2013, one fan managed to catch this crazy crash on camera from driver Harry Kleinian. Kleinian was driving his Porsche 964 RSR and made a massive mistake by locking up his tires under braking, and it happened in the worst possible place. Kleinian couldn't slow down in time and smashed in a concrete barrier, lifting the poor RSR onto its side and snapping both wheels off the left side of the car. It broke two barriers while flying over them, and unfortunately for him, there was a river on the other side. His Porsche was sent flying upside down into the water in one of the most spectacular crashes ever seen. Just imagine how shocked you would be to find yourself upside down and in the water at the same time. Luckily, the driver and co-driver managed to get out uninjured. And while we're on the topic of cars flipping over, this crash from Rally Argentina in 2016 was a display of rally car acrobatics of the highest degree. Finnish driver Yari Matti Latvala was taking his Volkswagen Polo rally car to the limits of speed and traction across the dusty Argentinian back road. But unfortunately for him, the car was not completely up to the task, as his suspension broke just before he took a high-speed corner. All while he was leading the rally, the Polo's front left wheel came loose, sending it flipping and rolling over multiple times at seriously high speed. The spectacular crash was caught by the helicopter, and the onboard footage shows just how violent it was from inside the car. He and his co-driver Mika Antila were fortunate to survive this massive shunt with no injuries. America is not best known for its rallying scene, but that doesn't mean there aren't fierce competitors willing to take on the treacherous stages that the country has to offer. During Stage 10 of the 2016 100 Acre Wood Rally America, this driver was taken for the ride of his life during this insane rollover crash. The Subaru Impreza was driving at almost top speed when it hit a hole in the road, launching it into the air and causing a crazy spin. It rolled countless times and landed on its roof a long way from where the crash started. After a few moments, both drivers got out, or while the car was still on its side. This driver decided to take on the Rally Epernay in France in one of the country's own cars, a Citroën C2R2 Max, but through no fault of the car, it didn't exactly end well. The driver hit a bump in this French countryside road, causing the suspension to become unsettled and the car couldn't handle it. It threw him off to the left with severe speed, and before he knew it, he was in the field barrel rolling like crazy. The hatchback flipped and rolled an insane number of times, going end over end and being thrown violently into the air at terrific speed, with one extra crazy flip being thrown in for good measure. <laughs> The car was completely wrecked, but the roll cage could be seen doing its job, protecting the two occupants from serious danger. Irishman Frank Kelly was taking on his home rally, the Circuit of Ireland, in his trusty Ford Escort Mark II in 2023, and it was all going well until it wasn't. 
There was a very late call by the co-driver to warn Kelly about an approaching left-hander, so when he reached it, he didn't have time to even think about turning left. The car went straight on at top speed and was launched into a dip in the side of the road. It flipped onto its side and made a crazy impact on the ground throwing it into the air in spectacular fashion. It was one of the most violent crashes from the whole rally, and somehow both Kelly and his co-driver were okay, but the car certainly wasn't. And if you're enjoying this video, please consider clicking like and subscribing for more quality motorsports content. When the driver and co-driver pairing of Lee Gotch and John McCarthy entered the East Coast Bull Bars ARC National Capital Rally in 2013, they were hoping to bring their Subaru Impreza WRX STI home in one piece, but the infamous mineshaft stage had a nasty surprise in store for them. As they approached the most treacherous blind crest on the whole stage, the pair took far too much speed and got some incredible air as they went over the jump. They were greeted with an extreme smash on the landing as the car landed right on its nose, turning it on its side and almost rolling over. It's safe to say they won't make that mistake again. Let's stay in Australia for now and go back in time to 1991, where this spectacular rollover took place, courtesy of Carlos Sainz. Senior, that is. The Spaniard was pushing as hard as ever on the dirt stage 14, gaining time and moving himself up to fifth in the standings. But that was all about to change. As he approached this fast left-hander, he was overly ambitious with his speed and sent himself flying off the road. His car rolled like crazy, flipping six times, and if you look closely, you can see Sainz's head hanging out the window and smashing off the ground twice, as the car came crashing down in an absolutely shocking moment. He was taken to hospital for precautionary checks, but he was lucky that he wasn't a lot worse. Another ridiculous moment from the incredible rally days of old came during the Rally Argentina in 2002. This time, it was Tommy Makinen making headlines for all the wrong reasons when he demonstrated how not to drive a Subaru. Halfway through this mixed terrain stage, it was going brilliantly for Makinen, who was three seconds faster than his nearest rival in the Peugeot. But he threw it all away at the very last corner with this massive mistake. He clipped the banking on the outside of the road and sent himself airborne, turning the car onto its side immediately. It began rolling uncontrollably, with spectators ducking for cover. The Subaru was seen flying spectacularly over the road at a crazy height in the yeah. At the midpoint of the stage, the Subaru had been three seconds faster than the Peugeot, but then on the very last corner of the stage, it all went wrong in spectacular fashion. It landed in a ditch and was completely wrecked, handing the stage victory to his rival. But luckily, both Mackinen and his co-driver Kai Lindström were somehow unharmed. A driver who is perhaps better known for his stunts off the rally stage than his participation on them is Travis Pastrana. But Travis was a fierce competitor who enjoyed success in many different series. However, one of his less successful days came at the Colorado Cog Rally in 2005. It was round seven of the Rally America National Championship, and Pastrana was driving his Subaru in Pretzer on the dirt stage. He misjudged a seemingly harmless corner, but the the consequences were huge. Pastrana's car flipped onto its roof instantly and flipped off the road, and barrel rolled through the field for what must have seemed like an eternity to him and his co-driver Christian Edstrom. The Impreza took a tremendous beating, but did its job in keeping both of them safe. Now get ready, because we've saved what is perhaps the biggest crash for last. Peter Solberg's incredible wreck from Germany in 2004. The Norwegian was attacking the fierce German countryside stage hard in his iconic blue and yellow Subaru in Pretzer, but he attacked one corner too hard and it cost him dearly. With too much speed through the corner, the Impreza simply couldn't hang on and crashed heavily into the ditch. It instantly shattered the windscreen and caused the car to turn over, smashing every part imaginable as it rolled across the road at high speed. 
The aftermath provided an incredible scene, with the roof of the car completely caved in. How on earth Solberg and his driver Phil Mill survived that crash, nobody knows, making it go down as one of the most unbelievable wrecks in WRC history. So there we have it, 20 rally moments that went horribly wrong. We've shown you some crazy crashes and brutal blows, proving that no matter if it's a local rally or a world rally championship event, drivers of all skill levels make mistakes. However, the great thing about rallying is that despite all the destruction, disappointment, and dreadful repair bills, the resilience prevails as crews rebuild, drivers refocus, and the rally spirit lives on. Let us know in the comments which of these moments you thought was the most spectacular, and tell us if we missed any. Please smash the like button and subscribe for more motorsports content. This has been Racer's Reverie. See you in the next video.